Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakai Kodash. All blessings, honor, glory, and power be unto the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh and His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior, whose name is Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone who taught me his truth, and salutations to the elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. All right, my name is Amon Gabar. I'm back with another lesson, Lord Willis, edifying straight into the point. And um, this probably won't be a long video, but I just want to um, pretty much go into the book of Tobit, the 13th chapter, like I said, in our do through the Spirit. You know, because we started going into it at camp um, this past week, didn't um, finish the whole thing, probably got about five verses in or something like that. The camp video is on... Um, three strikes for Esau, Edom, as well as Odyssey. So I'll probably be uploading to that alternative page on YouTube, three strikes for Esau, Edom, till, you know, Esau strike it. <laughs> but whatever, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I mean, no censorship. So I'm just going to keep, you know, bringing these backup pages and channels and whatever, just keep pushing, you know, till the Lord says otherwise. But anyway, uh, what I'll do, Lord willing, is um, I'm going to read through the book of uh, chapter 13 of uh, Tobit and whatever precepts come to mind I'll probably quote it or get it you know but I'm just going to read through it which is 18 verses so I'm going to start with it um, the book of Tobit chapter 13 verse 1 it says then Tobit wrote a prayer of rejoicing and said blessed be God that liveth forever and blessed be his kingdom for he doeth scourge, all right, scourge, and hath mercy. He leadeth down to hell and bringeth up again. Neither is there any that can avoid his hand. And the scripture come to mind right now. But when you read the story, when you read the whole book, um, Tobit was pretty much giving praises on and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah because, you know, he, um, for one, he was he was blind. When you read in the beginning, he was blinded because, you know, his eyes, you know, you re read the story, you know, pretty much a bird crapped in his eye. So he was blind for a minute. I believe it said like eight years. And then um, his son, Tobias, was on a, on a journey to pretty much receive the inheritance that was going to be left for him. And while all that was going on, he was... um. He also, you know, got him a wife, all right, a woman by the name of Sarah, which she got healed as well, and Tobit got healed by um, Raphael. It's a beautiful story. The whole book is beautiful, but he got healed by Raphael, Rapaya Allah, which is the healer of the Most High, and also when you read about it, the woman that Tobias ended up getting with, she got healed, all right, she got healed. Because her, her her thing was she had demons on her. And everybody that she slept with died. So she would marry a man. I believe they said it said it was seven men. So she would marry a man and on the night of their union, when they got together and had sex, the man would die. So she she pretty much became a widow after every marriage. You know what I'm saying? And then um then Tobias came along. And dealt with her, received him as his wife, and that was gone. You know, that, that reproach of her being single, being a widow, and having all these dead men dying under her under her um under her pretty much banner, so to speak, that reproach was gone when Tobias lay with her. And it made me think of Isaiah 4 and 1, how these women are gonna want their reproaches taken away for whatever whatever that, that reproach or shame may be that they have, they're gonna want it to be taken away, to be called by a man of the Lord's name. You know what I'm saying? So it reminded me of that when I was reading it too. Because she was reproached for for pretty much being widowed and, and having all these men die. And when you read it, you know, it tells you that um the angel Raphael was they, they didn't know that the the angel was journeying with Tobias, Tobias didn't know that until later in the, um, the book, but um, when you read it, it tells you that the angel took that spirit off of Tobias' wife, Sarah, and bound that demon in Egypt, 
you know, so that, that, that spirit, because spirits don't die, so that spirit of, that spirit is still there, and it's the, 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 um, the demon name is in the beginning of the chapter, like, I'm not gonna go to, it, but I could, I could go to this right here, um, Asmodeus, Asmodeus is the demon's name, all right, that got taken off of, so pretty much that chapter is about healing, you know, the, the angel Raphael, Raphael Allah healed Tobit, um, healed Sarah, his wife, guided um, Tobias throughout his journey to receive his inheritance. You know, beautiful chapter. So pretty much Tobit is rejoicing over that. And he's giving his prayers over that. That's what the 13th chapter is about. All right. So again, it says, then Tobiah wrote a prayer of rejoicing and said, blessed be God that liveth forever and blessed be his kingdom. For he doth scourge and hath mercy. Now we get scourged and the Lord is merciful. All right. I had brought this out the other day Um, Sirach 35. Uh, Ecclesiasticus 35 and um, the last verse. Uh, Ecclesiasticus 35, Sirach and the Apocrypha, verse 20. Mercy is seasonable in the time of affliction. As clouds of rain in a time of drought. So mercy is seasonable in a time of affliction. The Lord is balanced. All right. The Lord is a balanced power. The scriptures tell you that an unjust balance is an abomination to the Heavenly Father. So the Lord is all about balance. The reason why we're being chastised is for balance. All right. Everything we go through is, is to bring proper balance. And one thing that I always pray for is balance. May the Lord um, keep me balanced, you know, in, in just everything that I do. And everything that I do, everything that I think and, and, and accomplish may it all come with balance. You know, balance is, is key to a lot of things. You know, balance is definitely key. You don't want to be overboard or you don't want to be underboard. You know, overboard or underwater. You want to be right there. Perfect balance. You know, the Heavenly Father is balanced. So it says, for he doeth scourge and hath mercy. He leadeth down to hell and bringeth up again. Neither is there any that can avoid his hand. And that's where um, I was going to go to this precept. Let me see. Um, this is the book of 1 Samuel chapter 2 and verse 6. It says, The Lord Yahweh killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth down low and lifteth up. All right, just to land back on that precept, the Heavenly Father, he does it all. He kill, he make alive. All right, he bring down to the grave, he bringeth up. He make poor, he make rich. All right, he bring he bringeth down low and he lifteth up. So the Lord is, he's the man. He's the one that do all these things. All right. And um, I, th I just thought about another one. It's kind of slipped my mind right now. There's another one like that. Um, let me see. If it come back to me, I'll get it. If not, it's all good. Then let me go back to the um, uh, Tobit chapter 13. It says, Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel. For ye, for he hath scattered us among them. And we're scattered among everybody. All right, we're scattered among all the Gentiles. And I was watching the video a brother had put up. It was a short, it was a short video. Like on YouTube, you got the shorts. It was a bunch of um, what appeared to be Moab. All right, or gooks, as we call them, you know, it appeared to be a bunch of them rapping, freestyling, shooting a music video. And the brother asked, uh, Jake or fake? In my opinion, they Jake. I mean, from what I've seen and picked up in the spirit, I really didn't pick up no Moab, you know. And I say that to say this, that we're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. I read it again. Confessing before the Gentiles. And that's what we do. Because in the land of our captivity... We're confessing Yahweh Shemiah before the Gentiles, the actual physical heathens and Gentiles, as did the prophets of old did. We're doing the same thing, okay? Prophesying before the Gentiles. And I, um, in this particular one, you know, Tobit was around during the time of the um, the the Medo-Persian Empire, all right? Their ca that captivity, that particular captivity. So... It says, um, confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. We're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So what's going to happen is that we're going to uh, mingle our seeds among these nations 
and end up looking like these nations. That's what happened. We end up looking like these nations, you know, and then our children end up looking like, like, like these nations and their children, children, their children, children. And then it just become more and more scattered. All right. So don't get it twisted because you see Israelites coming in looking like a straight up gook, a straight up Edomite, you know, uh, looking like a Hamite, looking like Ishmael. We're going to look like everybody. All right. That great multitude out of every kindred, nations and tongue is the, the nation of Israel. It's not heathens. So verse four says they declare his greatness and extol him. All right. There where among the nations where we've been scattered, declare his greatness. And that's what we do. We declare the greatness of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah constantly day in and day out. It says and there and extol him. E-X-T-O-L means to praise, all right? Extol means to praise or speak highly of. And that's what we do. That's why we glorify the names. Um, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai constantly. All those words are always rolling off our tongue, all right? Because we are extolling those names. We are praising those names. It says, and extol him before all the living, for he is our Lord, and he is the God of our Father forever. And he will scourge us for our iniquities and will have mercy again and will gather us out of all nations among whom he hath scattered us. So the Lord is scourging us for our iniquities, point blank period. When we catch hell, it's because of our iniquity. All right, it's, it's, it's damn near, it's like twofold if you, want to, if you want to call it that. It's for our iniquities and it's to purify us. All right, we get scourged. The scriptures say that the Lord chastened, those, chastened those that he loved. All right, as a father do, not as bastards. So we're being treated as sons. All right, not as bastards. So that's why we are getting scourged. For one, because of our iniquities and our sins. Second Maccabees, the seventh chapter, one of the brothers said that we we uh we suffer because of our sins. All right, so that's why we go through what we go through, and also to us to purify us, to purge us, to cleanse us. Okay, but what what's the Lord going to do? It says, and He will have mercy again. And will gather us out of all nations among whom he has scattered us. That ain't happened yet. The great gathering, all right, of the Israelites is about to take place. All right, the great awakening is already taking place. But the gathering where the Lord is going to physically gather his elect throughout the four corners of the earth. Like the scriptures tell us that he shall send his angels and they shall gather his elect from the four winds. That's about to happen. And that's the end. All right, when the Lord is going to redeem us. So verse 6 says, if you turn to him with your whole heart, meaning your whole mind, your whole spirit, all right, your heart, it says, and with your whole mind and deal uprightly before him, then will he turn unto you and will not hide his face from you. So now if you turn to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, in these times with your whole mind wholeheartedly, the Lord is not going to forsake you, all right, he's not going to turn his face from you. Therefore, see what he will do with you and confess him with your whole mouth and praise the Lord of might and extol the everlasting king in the land of my captivity. Do I praise him? It, talk, it talks about that also in um, Baruch, the second chapter. In the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves and think to call upon my name. So in this land, all right, of our captivity, which is Throughout the four corners of the earth, we are thinking on the names Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and calling upon those names. Okay, so that means we got matter of fact, I gotta get it because that means that means um that we have to have the names. Alright, that means we gotta have the names. So for those saying that we don't have the names, they tripping. Alright. It's a lot good. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 2, and 29. It says, if you would not hear my voice, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations, where I will scatter them. For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked and a rebellious people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves, and shall know that I am the Lord, their God. And will get, and I will give them in heart 
and then ears to here. All right. And unlike um Ezekiel, uh, not, uh, what is Ezekiel? No, Isaiah six and nine. All right, make the hearts of these people fat, make their ears heavy. We that's talking about the two thirds, but the elect is going to have in heart and ears to hear. So it says, verse 32, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think to call upon my name. You see, so in the land of our captivity, we are thinking upon the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So wherever brothers and sisters have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth in captivity in these times, wherever you may be watching this video at, you know, you have came back to your true identity and nationality and you're thinking to call upon the names Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The Lord gave you ears in the heart to understand this truth. So you know them names. You know them names. So we, we are extolling those names. All right. Which means to praise those names. All right. Extol. All right. So reading on it says, In the land of my captivity do I praise him and declare his might and majesty to a sinful nation. Who is a sinful nation? Starting with these, these nations that don't keep the law, statute, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. Esau, Edom. These other nations, and even two thirds of our own people have become sinful. All right, um, Job nine and twenty four. Um, the, the eyes of the Lord is upon a sinful kingdom, which is talking about Israel first and foremost. So it says, "O ye sinners, turn and do justice before Him, because the only ones that can turn and do justice is the Israelites." Okay, they're the only ones that can repent. Repentance was not given to anybody other than the nation of Israel. The Lord, the scriptures say in Matthew one twenty one. That he shall save his people from their sins. And that's through repentance. So it says, O ye sinners, return. O ye sinners, turn and do justice before him. Who can tell if he will accept you and have mercy on you? And mercy was only promised to the Israelites. Okay? Point blank period. And that's been proven many a times throughout the scriptures. Even um tells you that in um, Hebrews that Esau sought his repentance carefully after tears. Or he sought it after tears, but he... There was no place of repentance given unto him. So it's over for these nations. They, only, they don't stand a chance in hell. Verse 7 says, I will extol, meaning highly praise and speak greatly of. I will extol my power and my soul shall praise the king of heaven and shall rejoice in his greatness. Let all men speak and let all praise him for his righteousness. O Jerusalem, the holy city, he will scourge thee for thy children's works. And will have mercy again on the sons of the righteous. Give praises. All right. Give praise to the Lord for he is good. And praise the everlasting king that his tabernacle may be builded in thee again with joy. All right. Because we are the temple of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh And it's being built. The tabernacle of David is being built right before your eyes. Okay. Like I tell you that in Amos that the Lord is going to rebuild the tabernacle of David which is fallen. It's not, it's not an actual temple. It's no building. But it's the actual Israelites, the kingdom of heavens within you, within us. It says, and let him make joyful there in thee those that are captives and love in thee forever those that are miserable. We're captives and because of uh, captivity, we're miserable, so to speak. All right. Like the scriptures say that in Ecclesiastes, surely, surely oppression make a wise man mad. It says which, which, with much knowledge comes much grief okay so verse 11 says many nations shall come from far to the name of the lord yahweh with gifts in their hands even a, even to the king of heaven all generations shall praise thee with great joy cursed are all they which hate thee and blessed shall all be which love thee forever so if you hate the words of the Lord, you hate Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you're cursed. If you love this word, this truth, and Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and what's being said, then you're blessed. All right? Barakata, barakatam. Verse 13 says, Rejoice and be glad for the children of the just, for they shall be gathered together and shall bless the Lord of the just. And that great gathering is coming. It's happening already. But the great gathering, as far as the salvation is concerned, is upon us. It says, O blessed are they which love thee, for they shall rejoice in thy peace. Blessed are they which have been sorrowful all the all excuse me, that have been sorrowful for all thy scourges, for they shall rejoice for thee when they have seen all thy glory and shall be glad forever. 
Let my soul be glad. Excuse me. Let me. Let my soul bless God, the great King. I'm gonna read it again. Let my soul bless Yahweh Yahweh Shai, our power, the great King. For Jerusalem shall be built up with sapphires, like it tells you that in um, Revelation, the book of Revelation. It says it shall be built up with sapphires and emeralds and precious stone. Thy walls and towers and battlements with pure gold. This is our kingdom that we're talking about. This is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's kingdom. Yahweh Shai's kingdom. And by default, we're heirs to the throne of our power. So we're joint heirs to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. His kingdom is our kingdom. Lord willing, we the elect and we partake in this glory to come in the first go around. You know, get those crowns of victory. Verse 17 says, And the streets of Jerusalem shall be paved with beryl and carbuncle and stones and old fur. All right, meaning it's going to be pure gold, pure uh, stones, precious. You know, our kingdom man, is going to be unimaginable. I can't express how great it's going to be. I can't even fathom or think about how great it's going to be. But it's going to be the most glorious thing, you know, that the, the, the world has ever seen. You know, so all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. This is mercy. This is mercy, all right? It says, And the streets of Jerusalem shall be paved with beryl and carbuncles and stones and old fur, and all, the, and all his streets shall say, Hallelujah. All right, it says, Hallelujah, which is Hallelujah, Hallelujah. And they shall praise him, saying, Blessed be Yahweh by Hashem Shai, which hath extolled it forever. You know, so all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Shai, man. Our glory is coming. This captivity is almost over. You know, we at the finish line, man. The devil know he's gonna, the devil know he got a short time, so he's gonna come down with great wrath. All right, the mo to, to the TB is gonna be pushed very heavy this year. You know, I mean, every year that goes by, they do something to further push it. So, you know, that's that's without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, they talking about the human trials on the brain implants and whatever, whatever, so on and so forth. Amazon. Um, go, I believe it's Amazon Go. I just did the video on that. There's the last video up. You know, this place is out of here, man. And our kingdom, which is the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, is at hand. You know, so all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Dash. You know, this is gonna, this was quick, edifying. I hope it was edifying, straight to the point. Anyway, till next time I say, Shalom to the elect. Shalom.